Vincent's gonna wanna build his base. You build your base. So I stop him by building his base by being heavy upon his hamstrings. So once he can build his base, I'm not gonna be able to hit across ankle. So I wanna make sure that I keep his base down by keeping his hips flat. So I'm gonna like this. This is my left hand. This is my right hand. So I'm gonna put my right shoulder on my left hand side. It be as heavy as possible on its hamstring. So if I'm just like this, this isn't a very handy up Because that's not heavy. So just putting my shoulder there, this is actually really easy. So I'm going to put my shoulder on its hamstring. So I'm going to put my head on the mat. And just for talking purposes, I'm not, I'm not going to put my head on the mat, but I want my shoulder here. And I'm going to turn my shoulder like this. Turn into them. Turn my hip into them. And put all my weight on my shoulder into his hamstring, into the mat. And I'm going to get off my knees as well, so I can turn more into my shoulder. So from here, I'm going to slide my left hand down to the ankle, shelf it on my thigh, put it into my hip, and then I'm going to walk around to my right hand side. And then I'm going to use my right leg. Now I can catch the other foot. My other hand can come around, catch his knee, put my heel close to my butt so I can have more power, and pull. And then come around parallel. I'm very, very, very heavy on anything, so I'm turning everything in, all my weights here. Now this can become light, self, so on the hip. Now this arm can become long. This is going to be my, my catch hand that I'm going to use for the cross ankle. I'm walking this way. I'm going to follow my far hip. Okay, now this is right here for me. This one can take this knee. My heel is going to come close to my buttocks. I'm going to walk on a 45 in a circular angle like this. some important concepts. So we're gonna imagine this is their left leg. So I'm gonna put my right shoulder as heavy as possible on this leg. And the way I make it heavy is not by going like this, but it's by turning my hip and my shoulder in together like this, and by turning my weight like this. Now I'm very heavy. And the second thing to review that's important is when we shelf, we want to put it on our hip and then catch it in our armpit. So once it's in our armpit, we're squeezing tightly, so our armpit's acting like another hand. And then once we have caught one ankle, we need to move to the other ankle. So in order to catch the other ankle, this will be our catch hand, our lace hand, and we're gonna go this way. So I'm just gonna walk around this way, walk around this way, and as I sit on my hip, which will be my far hip, I can use my far knee, in this case, my right knee, to swivel to catch the other ankle to bring it towards my hand. So I got this here. I'm walking around, walking around, I'm going to sit on this far hip, there's another leg here, bring it up, catch it, and this other arm can come around and grab my elbow, can just wrap around the knee. And the other important principle to remember is I'm not going sideways, I'm going circular on a 45, and the closer my heels are to my buttocks like this, the more power I'll have, like this, like a bridge will be more powerful the closer I am. So I'm going to go on a 45 and a circular this way. Like that. So those are the important things to remember.